We are in an ingenious wireless access point. I'm going to show you how to turn on and configure the DHCP server. So what you want to do is on the left hand side, click under set system, click on IP settings. And from here, we want to check the box that says enable DHCP server. Now, before we do that, we want to make sure that there is no other DHCP servers on your network. So if you're not sure, then talk to somebody who may know. And if it's a small network where nobody else is on the network, then you probably already have one that's enabled on your Comcast router or uh, Frontier or whatever it is that you have. If that's the case, you don't need to turn on the DHCP server. You can just leave it off and your wireless clients will get it from connecting through the access point into the Comcast router or whatever it is. So in most cases, you don't even have to turn this on. But if you do need to turn it on, let's go ahead and check the box that says Enable DHCP Server. And the least time is a half an hour. That's a little short. Most people like to make this a little bit longer, such as uh, one day. Otherwise, it keeps trying to renew its IP address over and over and over, and that could end up uh, having a lot of network traffic. Next thing you want to do is take a look at the starting IP and the ending IP. Now, you want to make sure it's in the same subnet as the one you're using up here. So if your static IP address is 192.168.15, like mine is, then your starting IP address needs to be 192.168.15 and your ending IP address .15 as well. Now, as far as the starting address on the last octet, we call these octets uh, because they are all 2 to the 8th power then uh, you want to make sure that no, no static IP addresses exist in the 100 to 200 range, and that is the default. Plus, you don't want to have more wireless, uh, more uh, DHCP addresses than you have devices. Otherwise, it just uh, makes it a potential target for other people to hack in and get an IP address. So if you have 10 devices, then give 10 IP addresses. So in this case, we'll go from 100 to 110, although that is 11 addresses technically. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and uh, click the apply at the, or pardon me, click the accept at the bottom. And once you click the accept, then you're going to go over to where it says uh, save and reload. And you're going to save and apply here. It restarts and then the access, dynamic access starts. So uh, let's go back to our DHCP server. So DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Control Protocol, and it hands out automatically IP addresses to anybody who connects to your wireless access point. So again, if you've already got a DHCP server such as Comcast or Frontier or you know, one of the other uh, internet providers, you won't need to turn this on. You can just leave it turned off.